Everyone's talking about ChatGPT 5, but the real magic isn't in the headline. It's in the features most people haven't even noticed yet. And today, I'm gonna to show you how those hidden upgrades can change the way you run your business day to day. If you've been using ChatGPT 4, you've probably already seen the persistent memory feature. The one that remembers your tone, your preferences, even your standard templates. GPT-5 still has that, but it's not just a clone of the old system. In GPT-4, those memories were stored manually, and you had to feed them in slowly over time, like teaching an intern on their first week. GPT-5, it's like hiring an operations manager who already knows your business and can pull in live data to back up its advice. And that's where it gets interesting because once GPT-5 knows your business and has your data, the question becomes, how does it actually decide what to recommend? This is where GPT-5's multi-layer decision tree reasoning kicks in. Unlike a simple pros and cons list, it doesn't just evaluate one factor, it applies your priorities in layers, narrowing down from the most important to the least, just like a real decision framework. When I tested it, I gave it three vendor contracts, ranked my priorities, and asked for a recommendation. Instead of just spitting out vendor A in one line, GPT-5 walked through each layer, first cost, then delivery, speed, then risk exposure, before landing on the best choice. The beauty is you can actually see the logic now. And if you can see the logic, you can start asking, what happens when it has not just your preferences, but your actual business numbers at its fingertips? That's where live API linking comes in. Now this isn't baked into the GPT-5 model weights. It's part of the GPT service layer and requires connectors. But if you're on a tier that supports it, you can link GPT-5 to tools like your CRM, QuickBooks, or Google Calendar. Suddenly when you ask, can I afford to hire another rep next quarter? It's not guessing, it's actually pulling the live cash flow from your accounting system and checking your upcoming commitments. And the moment it can see your current position, the natural next step is to ask, can it also show me the future? As a quick aside, I always have new tricks that I'm testing across my businesses, and I can easily drop those tips into an email to share with folks. So you guessed it, I'm sending out an email for people who are interested in my latest prompts, workflow automations, or business tools that I've been using successfully. It'll also be covering broader marketing and business operational tips for things like cold outreach, SEO, social media, email management, meeting notes, paid ad campaigns, and a whole bunch more. Candidly, there's a lot of hidden gems out there, and I'm happy to share the ones I've been collecting over the years. So if you're interested, sign up via the link in the description and I'll see you there. That's exactly what GPT-5's predictive scenario modeling does. You can feed it multiple what-if paths, say a mild recession, stable growth, or a boom, and it'll run each one as its own branch, complete with assumptions, forecasts, risks, and strategic moves. Let me show you an example. Okay, so in this case, we're saying we're a small business selling a $50 subscription service with 1,200 active customers and an average churn rate of 4% per month. If we increase our subscription price by 10%, what will happen to revenue, customer retention, and profit over the next 12 months? Assume fixed costs remain the same and gross margin is 70%. Okay, so let's run this. First off, you notice that the answer is almost instantaneous. It's super fast. And let's just run top down to the key takeaways here. Price like without high churn, you gain a straight 10% lift. Churn rises meaningfully, revenue and profit can fall below current lives by high price. Seven members losing one customer per month costs you $420 per year in profit. So you need the higher price to offset that loss. Okay, so the scenario that we just ran is useful, but notice it gives one possible future. Now let's see what happens when we ask it to model multiple possible futures based on different economic conditions. Okay, so you'll notice we've got the same setup scenario here, but in this case, we're actually adding a mild recession, stable growth, and economic boom. And for each one of these, we're gonna state the assumptions, project monthly revenue, include a short summary of risk and opportunities, and recommend one actionable strategy for that scenario. All right, so now let's run that. Okay, so we've got the answer here, and we can see that we've got the same assumptions, but now we've got mild recession and the results there stable growth with the results there and then an economic boom scenario so notice how it built branches for each scenario each with its own logic numbers and recommendations 
This is the decision tree reasoning that the new predictive scenario modeling uses internally. Okay, so now let's force a tabular comparison so we can have side-by-side -side view for a better perspective. We're saying take your previous three scenarios, forecast and present the key metrics, average monthly revenue, final customer count after 12 months, and total profit in a single comparison table. All right, so let's run that. So now this is cool because GPT-5 can summarize complex branching analysis into a format you can quickly present in a meeting or export to a planning document. As a side note, I also like that you can actually copy the table now specifically versus having to copy the entire output. You can just grab the copy for each one of these tables. So that's pretty slick too. So once you've run through these scenarios, it'll hit you. These features aren't just individual tools they're a chain. Persistent custom context profiles mean GPT-5 already speaks your business's language. Multi-layer decision trees mean it thinks through your problems the way you do. Live API linking means it's working from your actual numbers. And predictive scenario modeling means it's planning for what's next before you even ask. So here's the real takeaway for me. GPT-5 has finally moved from just a basic AI assistant. It's now a strategist, an analyst, an operations manager rolled into one. And the sooner you start connecting these capabilities together, the sooner you can run a business where the AI is working the night shift for you. Subscribe if you're into this kind of stuff, and I'll see you next time.